basketball analyst Dominic Uy joins us in the studio tonight to give us his take on the PBA Governor's Cup semifinals. Good evening, Zinedine Zidane. <laughs> you, you Welcome. Her out. Thank you to Magoo because of that, right? <laughs> Uh, obviously, there's a game go going on right now, mm -hmm. and, and it seems like it's going to be wrapped up pretty soon. But let's talk about the game that's happening tomorrow, a series that it, that went, it's going the distance, five games, uh, like, like you predicted also. Um, um, Alaska versus Rain or Shine uh, in a game that I guess, you know, that, that a lot of people thought that it wasn't going to happen, mm -hmm. but uh, it, we're here. When you look at Rain or Shine, they were able to push it. When I say push it, they were able to push the import. I really feel that Henry Walker, I was, when, when we talked about it the other day, I said Henry Walker is the key, largely because he is the leader they're looking to him. He needs to be able to score in the end for Alaska to be able to go over this hump. And last game, uh, he lost his cool. He, was, he got a flagrant foul penalty too, and he wasn't able to finish the ball game. Though there was a big fight back by the locals of Alaska, which is great coming into game number five because it shows that you know, Alaska has the tools, yeah. but they'll still need their import in a game yeah. number five. I, I got to ask, before we uh, get further, like, speaking of the imports, Arizona Reed, uh, he seems, at least in my opinion, sometimes he does a little bit too much. And the rest of the locals of, of uh, Rainer Shine, who are capable, more than capable of, of uh, carrying a team, they kind of just tend to sit back and relax and watch uh, AZ Reed do most of the damage. When you look at... Rain or shine, uh, they've figured out the roles. And I spoke to Gabe Norwood and he said, you know what, with Arizona Reed, we've finally said, you know what, you're our leader. You lead the way, both offense and defense. Mm -hmm. If you looked at his previous stints in the PBA, he was shoot first or more or less shoot all the time. Yeah. Now he passes a little bit more. So he's, there's still sometimes during the game that that happens, but I think he plays with a lot of intensity now, both on defense and offense. Before, it was mostly offense. Yeah. Now, the defense really has stepped up. And I think that that um, observation of yours is largely because anybody in, on Rain or, in Rain or Shine rather, yeah. can really pick it up any time. Yeah. And Coach Yang has his penchant of finding the right guy at the right time. So, you know, for Rain or Shine, the import will play less of a role in or for them clinching the series. Okay. Let's talk about JV Casho because he did hurt himself in the last game. Wow. And what kind of impact will that have if he's not 100% in game five of this series? It's going to be huge because if you look at how they made that big fight back yesterday, it was all JV knocking down a three, making steals, making yeah. defensive plays. And even after he got injured, he still tried to play that last play. So the heart is there. Hopefully, they're able to <clears throat> rehab and basically patch him up. Yeah. For tomorrow's game, and uh, you know when it when I saw the replay, it was it, it hurt because it seemed like he twisted his ankle and his knee. Mm -hmm. But Javi's got a fighting heart, and hopefully he, he'll be okay for game number five because he has definitely been playing so well this entire conference ever since Coach Alex took over. Yeah, his game has really blossomed. I really feel largely because of Alex because if you look at Alex's career, he can have a lot of input on how Javi plays because yeah. they're both like to give the ball up, but at the same time, they can knock down crucial, crucial shots. They're, they're very similar. They're, yes. Their style of play, obviously, Alex is a little bit bigger. And, mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> he likes to shoot from further out, a little bit further Half court, out. I remember. Ha half court, half court. But um, obviously, if JV is not 100%, what does Alaska need to do? Who do they need to step up in order for well, them to have guys a like RJ Hazul, because somebody has to fill in that point guard slot. It cannot be, you know, it, of course it'll be a collective effort. Yes. Um, guys like Don Don Ontiveros, guys like um, Calvin Abueva. Sonny Thos has been the barometer for Alaska. He, he'll have to put on a solid game for Alaska to be able to advance. So, you know, it's, it's uh, I guess, more defined for Alaska. For rain or shine, you're just, you're just going to sit back and see, okay, who's it going to be today? Mm -hmm. But expect Paul Lee, Gabe Norwood, and, um, you know, the other guys to be able to step it up as well. Jeff Chan played yeah. really well. In the previous game. Let's talk about the coaching matchups here again. I already asked you this over the phone patch, but of course, this is a different scenario now. We have Coach Alex Compton, his first ever conference as a coach, reaching the semifinals, mm -hmm. reach, going the distance in a game uh, in a five-game series, and now he's facing the veteran, the very well-known <laughs> Coach <laughs> Yen Giao. What I like about Alex is he makes it very simple. He always talks about mental toughness. And, you know, when Rain or Shine got physical in game number two, he just told his boys, you know, it's going to be physical. That's why we're playing basketball. So he, he really simplifies things to be able to 
communicate it to his players. And I like that because Coach Yang may have some things to pull out uh, mm. from his pocket because he's got that experience. Yes. But I think Coach Alex has that calmness and that instinct as a player to be able to counter it. The yeah. question is, which players will react? Yeah. And also, which pieces will be available mm -hmm. uh, for, for, for Coach Alex? Uh, now, let's, let's uh, look at uh, the backcourt of, of Rainer Shine and, and the frontcourt as well, because this is, a, this is a very bizarre team, whereas the, the, the backcourt players tend to like to post up a little mm -hmm. bit, and their, and their big guys <laughs> like to shoot from the outside. So, obviously, with that said, you mean that Sonny Toss, a traditional big man, mm -hmm. back to the basket type of player, if Bo Belga and the guys uh, bring him out to the perimeter, and nullify him down low in the post. Uh, how does that affect the game of Alaska? Well, first of all, if they bring him out on offense, yeah. then that means Bo will be knocking down his threes. So that'll give a little bit more of room for the guys to be able to penetrate mm -hmm. and even Arizona Reed. Yes. So that will take away Sonny and maybe put him into foul trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest thing that Sonny needs to stay away from because when Sonny is in foul trouble, and when I said the barometer, if you look at the statistics, the games that Alaska's won, he's played well. He's played long. Yeah. He's had a lot of minutes, stayed away from foul trouble. So that's what they'll need to be able to maximize, get Sonny into foul trouble. Because when you look at Alaska, he's basically the one and only legit big man there yes. that has that you know, classic big man role. Mm. So that's going to be key. If you look at Rain or Shine, yes, they're small guys like to post up. And that's just how... They all play. Coach Yang lets them play. If you can shoot from the outside, fine. And uh, it so happens that their big guys can make it from the outside. And the small guys like posting up. All right. We talk more about the PBA and read replies to our Twitter topic of the night when we return. This is the Solar Sports Desk. Keep it here. Okay, well, obviously, the talk and text is out. We, we already have Sunday coffee in the finals, and going the for a grand slam. And it just ended. The, the game just ended. Game five just ended between Talk and Tex and Sammy Coffee. Sammy Coffee is through uh, to the finals. Uh, your take, I mean, we mentioned before about fatigue uh, with, with Sammy Coffee, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like they're getting tired at all. You know, we've been talking about fatigue in the PBA for Sammy Coffee for the past three conferences. <laughs> yeah. And they've always found a way to win. Uh, you look at game number five, James Yap again. You look at all the big games. It's been the big three that I was, have always come and produced. James, PJ, Ping. Yeah. These are the guys that are so consistent. But to get them there, they'll need the team. Guys like Malik C, guys like Baroka. You know, they play big. And then when it's time to take over the big game, James, PJ, Simon, these are the guys that are knocking down shot after shot. So it's a great team effort. They've built this team to have this kind of a run. There's, there are several scenarios here that would make a great story for the PBA Finals. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have San Miguel Coffee going for the Grand Slam, and if Alaska makes it, my goodness, former Tim Cohn team against current Tim Cohn team going for the Grand Slam, I don't even know. And then, of course, if you have Rain or Shine facing uh -huh. SMC, then, of course, Tim Cohn versus Yang Giao. I mean, what are the possible scenarios here, and how intense could this Finals series be? I think if you look at first, let's say if it's rain or shine that goes through, uh, definitely it's going to be fireworks yeah. because it's going to be physical, mm -hmm. and they wanna they wanna they want redemption, <laughs> right? And if it's Alaska, I mean, first of all, when Coach Tim left, I mean it's been a while, yeah, but it would be sweet mm -hmm. to beat him, and I guess it's most motivation for rain or shine or Alaska. For San Coffee, their motivation is just to get the Grand Slam. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter who's there. There's no real, I guess, um, personal yeah. vendetta to any of them. Yeah. But just one goal. And if they're able to focus on that, then San Migofi is going to get their Grand Slam. You know, uh, before, before the, the semis actually started, uh, Miko was, uh, we were chatting with Miko and we, we kind of said, yeah, there, it's kind of, some people have been saying, that this was the finals, mm -hmm. uh, the San Miguel Coffee versus Talk and Tex. And Miko's pointed it out, you know what? Yes, I, I, he understands why people would say that. But don't underestimate the two teams yes. on the other side of the bracket because uh, they've done enough job, they've done their work to get here, mm -hmm. and they are formidable come the, the finals. Now, having said that, uh, when you look at the lineup of Sammy Coffee, it looks like this was a team uh, that was well thought of. Everything about the team, top to bottom, uh, the lineup, everything about the way they play is just solid. It's mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. a basketball team should be put together. However, 
Can this group be beaten by either Rain or Shine or Alaska? Well, I think if, if they're not focused, if they're not able to do what they're good at, you know, they're great at maximizing or taking control of the pace. Coach Tim, you, you know what? The, the key there is, is really Coach Tim. If you look at even the previous championship, him resting the big three at a certain point. Yes. Of, you know, he, he's just a genius because he's seen it before. 27th, maybe, finals appearance <laughs> for Coach Tim. Uh, it's hard to argue with something like that. Uh, he has that foresight. Yes. And the thing is, everybody buys into the system. Mm -hmm. He sat down the three guys and they're like, we trust him. There is no, oh, you know, why didn't you play me? Yeah. Why not this guy? They completely trust each other. That's going to be very difficult to beat. But rain or shine, Alaska, something to prove. Yeah. And, and I feel that if, if they have it, the Gila's guys, you know, like rain or shine, they want, they want redemption yeah. from the previous conference. Alaska, you know, they're, they're a team that's hungry for, for recognition from the fans, mm -hmm. from the league. So if they're able to build on that as well. But again, for Alaska, I feel the import will play a major role because they're playing against Marcus Blakely. Blakely has been in this situation. He understands physicality. It doesn't matter to him. He's able to play through that. The question is, will these two teams, the Rain or Shine and Alaska, are they going to be able to do that first tomorrow yeah. and then <laughs> sign me coffee sign me on Monday? In the finals. All right. Thank you Fireworks. so much for joining us, Dom. And hopefully we can see you here again in the studio. Sure, anytime. I'm a stone's throw away. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> right down the road. You know, I can't believe Zinedine Zidane grew up. I know. <laughs>